Hey guys, well, welcome to another match video. And before we get to the video, I wonder a couple of people asked me about Instagram. Yes, I deleted my Instagram account. It's just not for me. Um, I had Facebook uh, a while back uh, for a few months, and I ended up deleting it too. It's just those kinds of things aren't for me. Uh, YouTube, I enjoy. It's the only social media I really enjoy. The other stuff is just kind of I. Uh, I sometimes just don't understand and I know it's a good way to communicate so don't get me wrong it's just not for me but here's to all the people out there actually doing stuff and and making shit happen you know what I'm saying but let's talk about this match it was an absolute train wreck uh, down in Pine Tucky they always put on a good match it's only five stages but to me it's worth the drive um, so they there were some Really good, challenging stages. They do have two classifiers in this match because the one classifier they set up wrong, they re-ran it this month, plus they put an additional classifier. So, I mean, we actually only got three stages. And on the first stage that I ran in the day was a classifier. And it was an array, a mag change in an array. And my magazine catch broke in half, believe it or not. I didn't know what had happened at the time. You'll see in the video, I was, I was like picking up magazines, shoving them in the gun. They were dropping. And I went over to the safe area and looked and, and tested a couple magazines. And I, I made sure I didn't have any ammunition. But uh, sure enough, the, the mag catch had broken and the right side had fallen out. So luckily I had a spare part and I was able to continue the match. Uh, so on the second stage, uh, so so when you don't finish, you get uh, like six misses and three failure to engage, so it, you can't recover from that. So at that point, I was just like, let's have fun. So on the second stage of the day, um, I ran it great. I was I was I pushed it hard. The M class shooter. Uh, finished it in 13.9 seconds. I finished it in 14.3. It had two steals that you had to hit in order for the activator to drop out. I was one for one on the steal, and then I went through it pretty quick, I think. So that was a good stage. Um, and then stage three, um, the not stage three, the third stage of the day, I, again, the match director is doing a great job, but they Sometimes when you overdo props, they don't always work the same way. Same thing happened in the match this weekend, which will come later in the week. But um, it was a, one of those actuators where you could either hit this steel or that steel. And so you got cable going like this, and it didn't work. And so when it doesn't work, you have to reshoot. And then on the reshoot, I decided that there were two targets that just didn't matter, and I didn't shoot them. So that's a two failure to engage and four might, four misses. So you, again, dig in a deeper hole. But um, And then the next stage, <laughs> I had to go first. And as soon as I was ready to start going, it started pouring down rain. Not pouring down rain, but it started raining, damn it. And so I couldn't video that. There's no video of that. But uh, And ask anyone that's there. I'm not just holding back on the video. It was raining. And I can't record with the Mobius. And I can't um, put my GoPro without a back on it up in the air for the sky cam. I should have handed someone my phone real quickly. But it had 12 pieces of steel on that stage and two half size silhouettes at like 40 yards. <laughs> I put six shots on the silhouettes, and I got three of them, and I had one more mic, and I left a steal because I wasn't going to do a standing reload to catch one steal. It was ridiculous. So it was um, it was an interesting stage. But uh, So the last stage of the day was the other classifier, and I ran it in 76% last time, and that was an A-class classifier, but the walls were set up wrong. And this time they had them set up right, and I ran a 79%. So I was just happy to take that classifier home because the first classifier of the day, I zeroed it out. So that one won't count. But anyway, uh, it was an interesting day. It was, it was very much a train wreck. Uh, it was just a, one of those matches where you're just like, who gives a shit? Let's just go have fun. And uh, things just kept going wrong until the end of the day. And uh, my buddy said to me today, he's like, you're the king of a strong finish. Well, I hope. 
that I can keep that up because I damn sure don't start very well in a match. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy the footage, uh, the, what footage I got. And uh, you guys take care and uh, y'all be good. Are you ready? Stand by. Yeah. Okay, reholster. Okay, you got time. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay, show clear. Are you ready? Stand by. Hammer down, reholster. Hands is clear. Robert! Ah. I knew it went too fast. Yeah, I forgot him. That's why I said that's a great idea to go to that one. And I said, but man, you can forget that one and you forgot that. Yeah, I forgot to make that turn. Are you ready? Stand by. Alright, if you're finished, make ready for the next one. 631. That boy, Rob. 631. Are you ready? I will see. Are you ready? Stand by. Alright, if you finish, I'll know if you're clear. If clear, hammer down and holster.